You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. The, the program, $350 billion, to the side of small businesses. Their program may run out of money by today. Uh, this is the Washington yes. Post story here. A small business program uh, intended for quick grants is running weeks behind. Uh, people are saying they're, they're, they're waiting to hear. Uh, they haven't heard back. You've got banks who are basically picking winners and losers, choosing yes. uh, some of their biggest and top customers. You've got mm -hmm. businesses that don't have relationships with banks, which yes. we've got a handful of. So you have to, go, in order to access, you got to go through these banks. Well, yes. they're now deciding, well, who, who gets to participate or not. So what do black businesses do uh, who right now are in this conundrum? And these are people, these are businesses that can't wait two, three, four weeks. These people literally are in a, will I be in business in the next five to seven days? So, Roland, what we're confronting here is that this virus is doing more than killing and taking lives. It's, it's, it's devastating our economy. And you have some small business. So I'm, I'm in Detroit. We call ourselves a comeback city. So many of the small businesses have only been up and running a year or six months because it's just been this momentum of growth of business. And now be, they're just getting on their feet and they don't have that fallback or that, that uh, uh, preserves that they can go back to and uh, pull from. So we're, we're going to see and we're going to have to have a tremendous amount of resources available to the small business. So some of the things I heard, because I talked to one of my auto suppliers who happened to be an African-American, and I said, how are you doing? He said, well, Brenda, I have resources. I have, I have administrative staff that helped me cut through the red tape. Then I talked to my small restaurant owner or my beauty salon uh, owner. She doesn't know how, or he doesn't know where to start. What do I do? What are you talking about? I saved this money under my bed and started my business. I don't have a bank. They wouldn't give me money. So this is our reality. And we're when we're looking at the second phase of the CARES Act, we're going to have to look at women-owned businesses, which is one of the largest startups in the country, are women who start new businesses. We're going to have to look at how minority-owned businesses are going to survive. And we also, you know, they always push back and they say, we're trying to regulate too much. If we don't regulate these banks to give the money to those little mom and pops and to make sure that it's equitable, that everyone has access to it, then we're, we're you know, we're not doing this country a justice. We're having the haves and the have-nots. Unfortunately, that is the dream of so many people in America, that there's only a few, select few, that have access to the American dream. All right, then. Congresswoman Brendan Lawrence, we certainly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care of yourself, All and right. I look forward to a time when we can see each other eye to eye. Indeed. Thank you so very much. Every single night, we've got some of the top black experts. You're not going to see them on cable news or broadcast news because you swear black people aren't experts when it comes to this health crisis. That's why we have this show and why we do what we do every day on Roller Martin Unfiltered. Joining us right now is retired General Russell Honore. Uh, thanks for his first black surgeon general, Dr. Jocelyn Elders. John Hope Bryan, he is the founder of Operation Hope. Senator Kamala Harris of California. Dr. Sadrina Calder, retired General Lloyd Austin. Congresswoman Karen Bass, Commissioner Omari Hardick. Bureau President in Brooklyn, Eric Adams. Dr. Joseph Graves, America's Wealth Coach, Deborah Owens. Dr. Corey A. Bear, Patel Salt. Uh, Howard University student, Pastor Jamal Bryant, a uh, doctor, uh, Christy McDowell, Benja Ajilore, senior economist at the Center for American Progress, Gilda Daniels, again, author of the book, The Crisis of Voter Suppression in America. Four stars, uh, General Kit Ward, Dr. Oliver Brooks, is president of the National Medical Association, president of the American Medical Association, Dr. Patrice Harris, Joby Benjamin, Dr. Alexia Gaffney, infectious disease specialist, Dr. George Benjamin, uh, executive director of the American, American Public Health Association, Malcolm Nance, family medicine. 
medicine physician, Dr. Jen Caudill, Dr. Tashaka Cunningham, a molecular biologist, Kat Stafford. She's a national race and ethnicity reporter for the Associated Press. Dr. Wayne A.I. Frederick, uh, who is the president of Howard University, Congresswoman Yvette Clark uh, from the state of New York, William Springs, AFL-CIO economist, uh, Andrea James, executive director of the National Council for Incarcerated and Formerly Incarcerated Women and Girls. All right, let's go to Capitol Hill. Congressman Gregory Meeks, Congresswoman Anybody's Johnson of Texas, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar, mental health clinician Jamie Singletary, Prince George's County State's Attorney Aisha Brayboy, as well as Dylan uh, Harry, ACLU Justice Division Strategist. Uh, Dr. Cindy Duke, uh, she is a virologist, Principal Steve Perry of Capital Prep. Health and wellness specialist Dr. Yolandra Hancock, Desmond Mead, President of the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, Cliff Albright, who is the co-founder of Black Voters Matter, Michael Harriet with the group, the Mina McWhorter, founder of Love by the hand of Dr. Julianne Malvo, economist president in Merida Bennett College. Coroner Michael Fowler is a mayor of Atlanta, Keisha Lance Bottoms, mental health therapist Suzette Clark, Justin Gibney, attorney and political strategist, and Bishop Vincent Matthews Jr., Dr. Suzette McKinney, CEO and executive director of the Illinois Medical District, Dr. Leon Madugal, president elect of the National Medical Association, Jana Bailey, Mayor of Moss Point, uh, Mississippi, uh, Mario King. We're going to keep driving this thing to make sure our people are fully aware safe, protected from coronavirus. You're getting the top medical experts, the top business experts, top political experts, top religious experts, because that's why we do what we do. Unapologetically and unfiltered. Ain't nobody else in the black media space doing what we do. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.